I just want to um, add a, <clears throat> a few uh, recollections uh, on my own, very briefly. Uh, a number of speakers have mentioned how you felt very isolated, um, especially if you were a young Austrian, um, reading Rothbard and Mises and Hayek in the 60s and early 70s. Um, in my junior year in high school in the early 70s, I, um, I'm sorry, my junior year in college, after that year, I discovered Rothbard and, and, and then Mises and so on. And uh, so that summer, I began to um, read uh, voluminously uh, in the literature. So I, I had picked up um, at the local library a number of books, including America's Great Depression. And um, I was a very high achiever janitor that year, uh, that summer rather. Um, I worked uh, at, a, at a unit of AT&T, an engineering unit, and I would get all of my work done um, you know, by 2 o'clock. And then I would go sit in this, in this uh, little janitor's closet, a little broom closet with a sort of a na naked yellow light bulb over my head, and I would be pouring through America's Great Depression. Well, I felt so alone. I mean, I, <laughs> I was alone. I was in a closet <laughs> with a book. Um, but I did meet Murray right after that, but fast forwarding to, to uh, I still hadn't met many young people, but fast forwarding to, um, uh, the uh, South Royalton Conference. When I first stepped off the Amtrak train um, in a town that was near South Royalton, I, I can't remember which town it was now, um, I was met with uh, someone who was supposed to pick me up, and it was Don Lavoy, and his hair was even longer than mine and shaggier, and his beard was sh shaggier, so I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> when I got to the town, I saw uh, a young man who was there who was all dressed in black, including a black shirt, and he had a pompadour. And I said, well, we're not only going to have a magician entertain us, but also an Elvis impersonator. <laughs> that was Richard Ebling. <laughs> well, well, uh, <laughs> well, Richard and I, um, we hit it off right away, and uh, we, were, we were, uh, went to get something to eat, and we were sitting with the eminent economist, um, uh, William H. Hutt, who was a free market labor economist, taught and buried in South Africa, unfortunately. I mean, academically buried. I don't know if he's buried there now. Uh, who, but anyway, we're sitting there with him, and a wonderful man, a great gentleman. And Ludwig Lachman walked in, who also taught in South Africa. And uh, Richard, Richard will remember this. Um, he said, uh, Hutt said to us, you know, what's he doing there? And um, so we said, well, he's an Austrian. And, and, and um, Hutt said, no, he isn't. He's a Keynesian. Um, yeah, so, th so there, were, there were sort of divisions even, even back then. Um, but, oh, yeah, and one, one last uh, what, what, uh, little anecdote. When Murray um, had arrived, um, myself and a few others helped him with his baggage. But as, he, he, he was, he, uh, as, as we were helping him, Milton Friedman had pulled up. And, and Murray, you know, very dark look came over his visage, and he said, you know, you know what's he doing there? And I said, I don't know, but, but it turns out Ken Templeton, I think, was the one who invited him, um, because he, he wanted to play tennis with him. I later saw Milton Friedman playing tennis with Ken Templeton, who was vice president, I think, of, of the uh, Institute for Humane Studies. Um, Friedman was very spry and moved around the court pretty well, I remembered that. Um, but uh, so when we were speaking to both of them, as uh, I forget who pointed it out, everyone gathered around Friedman, and Murray had just written an article called Un Uncle Milty Rides Again <laughs> uh, in the Libertarian Forum, in which he called Milton F Friedman uh, an inflationist or a uh, monetary crank. How many times? Sure. Seven. <laughs> um, and uh, so Friedman was, was very upset about this and was going on to all of us about it. So we would find out what Friedman had to say. We'd run over to Murray and ask him, you know, why <laughs> called him. He was very upset that, that, that Murray called him an inflationist and a monetary crack, crank. But the, 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 Free, uh, Murray had done this because Friedman had uh, written about uh, how indexation was a great way to deal with inflation. That is not stopping inflation, but indexing all incomes and, and wages uh, and prices to, uh, or, or rather wages to, um, to, to the inflation rate. So, so those are some of my memories of, of South Royalty. Okay, thank you very much.